going on a road trip. I'm down in a part of the river that I never go to except for driving the boat all the way down here. And instead, woo, instead today, I came down here on a trail. I got Mitch with me. And our first thing down here, we just left the Lions Club boat ramp. Our first order is we got to get mullet because there ain't no reason to fish if you don't have any nice mullet. We start throwing the net, I'll turn the camera back on. It's a Saturday and I normally wouldn't go out for fun on a Saturday, but it's been gloomy, as you can see. All that is probably going to be great. We're going to go get some mullet, and then we're going to try to catch trout, redfish, and put it out there. So we'll see how good that goes. All within sight of downtown Jacksonville. Hey. they are down here in this part of the river. They're all nice and copper colored. And Mitch had his break right at the hook on a, what, 25 pound leader. Alright, I'm going to let him go. Nice double header. Fung 
shui going here. Some punk shui. In the box, baby! That is a big problem, fish. That's why we might be getting hits and not getting them. It's not trout. It's them. We can put them in here with my fish. <laughs> Man. Superhero called the Mass Fisherman. With my envy rod. Green, green Goblin Rod. Okay, well, we've had several strikes and missed them. That's what they could be. Mangrove Snapasaurus. That's the first one we've gotten. We've been eating all our mullet. That's it, you gotta have a 100% skill level to catch the mangrove Snapasaurus. I don't think he's a keeper. Is he a keeper? He well, might be. Alright, the Mass Fisherman. The Mass Fisherman got himself a speckly trouty. He wasn't going nowhere. I don't know. Well, he's a pretty fish. Either way. Damn. Tennessee Volunteer. Who let the dogs out? We got one on here. Stay together, Brady. Stay together. There we go. All right. There we go. I'm sure he's 28 and a half inches. 28 inches with the tail pinched. Woohoo! Who let the dogs out? Hooked up! Ryoga. Right off the back of the boat this time. Mitch, the masked fisherman, is making up for this morning. Almost wore my arm out. He almost wore me out. At least 33, 33 and a half. What's that? Showstopper! Yeah! He's a showstopper. Okay. Woo! Whoa, that was a number 10 dive right there now. Well, I'm heading home after the road trip, and uh, it was a 
pretty successful day. I think we had we ended up with nine reds, uh, five trout, a mangrove snapper, and well, that was about it. What two throws maybe of the of the cast net this morning to get mullet. It was actually enjoyed, I actually enjoyed going to a place where I fished my light anchor, 12 pound anchor, all day. And uh, two ounces of lead, two ounce sinker, not eight ounce. So there's something to be said about going further down the river and fishing there, that's for sure. Is it my 100% home turf? No, because I don't live near here. Um, but do I come down here in the boat all the way from where I do live? Yeah. Mullet runs going on. And with the mullet run going on, you better have yourself some mullet. Only one keeper red and two keeper trout though. This is the time of year you want to go, folks. Don't be lagging. It is, this is the time. This is what I've been waiting for all summer in that brutal heat, having to catch the sharks, having to go through 74 degree water in the middle of July because of the thermocline coming up on the beach. I pay my dues all summer long. This time of year comes along, I'm not waiting on you. Like today, I'm going. I'm going. Today was an absolute gorgeous day. A little northwest or northeast wind didn't bother us a bit. I didn't even start sweating until we got back to the dock. So this is what we this is what we live for in northeast Florida, folks. It ain't that summertime in July when you're down here wanting to go fishing. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but that's not what we around here that fish live for. We live for right now. Right now. Screwed up here, so I was holding the camera. <laughs> 